Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna get ready for work. I love saying that. I feel like I'm looking like makeup kind of Jamie because my hair looks so dark. It's getting long as well. It's been quite a wee while since we sat and just did a makeup tutorial. I am getting ready for work and by work I mean I'm actually going to work. I have a Vive pop-up open in Glasgow right now and I've been doing my makeup obviously every day that I've been in. I've been in every single day apart from Sunday, day of rest. My makeup I'm really pleased with at the moment. I really like it, it needs to last. I also don't really get a chance to look at my makeup so it needs to last without me checking it, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna start with the Road Glazing Milk. I spoke about this before, I really like it. For a product that doesn't feel like much <laughs> when it's going on, like it's nothing, nothing too special almost, it's really nice. And I do this first and I'm careful to miss my eyebrows because when your brows are dry, the product goes on much better. So I'm gonna go in with my, precisely my brow pencil in the shade number three. I've actually tweezed my eyebrows again. Listen, I tried to grow them in, it didn't look good. This brow grows in much thicker than this brow. This brow, the hairs start growing down the way. This is what's meant to be for me. So I'm just gonna go over the shape of them as they are. And I'm not really gonna overdraw them. I just quite like a, like a naturally filled in brow. Although I will say I am meeting so many people in the pop-up and everyone is really rocking a laminated brow still. And I do really like it, but I feel like I don't, I just, I don't know, I don't know. I might try it again but for the moment I'm just doing makeup that I can rely on. I'm not trying anything too crazy, too new. I also think my makeup's changed a lot in the last few years. We've done a pop-up in Glasgow every year for three years now, and the makeup that I wore in year one is really different to the makeup I wear now. I think it's just the coverage is really different. I don't do as full coverage at all, and I like my skin to look a little bit fresher. I think that's the case for most of us just now. I think literally that's it. Look how pale I am as well. So I've not been using my U-Tan spray only because I'm going to film a before and after. And I stopped using it about four weeks ago to film this before and after and I've just not done it. So I'm just rocking this paler look, which I suppose it's not, it's not a terrible thing considering it's winter. Now, making sure that you don't have skincare anywhere near your brows makes a huge difference to how the product applies. I think it's just much more pigmented and long lasting and not slippy and not too shiny. But because I spent ages tweezing my eyebrows, I'm actually, I'm quite happy with the shape of them as well. 24 hour brow setter, we'll just do a quick set of these. And there we go. That glazing milk has settled into my skin, so I'm gonna use Skin Nova. This is our best-selling makeup product in the pop-up. I'm not surprised. My God, I, th I honestly think this is the secret to why my makeup lasts so long. For my base, we're gonna do Skin Dew mixed with concealer. So I'm gonna take my Modern Radiance Concealer in the shade M1, and then I'm gonna take Skin Dew and mix almost like equal parts, maybe a little touch more concealer. And I'm just gonna use the back of my brush to mix that together. And this is gonna give us really nice glowy skin. It lasts on the skin amazing. My skin, I feel like I need to do an updated routine. I have been using something that I've seen everywhere on Instagram. And they got in touch to, to send me it and I was like, yes, I will try it. Skin and me, unbelievable. It's like a prescription service. So you send pictures of your skin. Oh God, I don't know if this is gonna to be too dark for me still. Tiny bit, but that's fine. That's not the right brush. So I've been using the Skin and Me, and the way it works is you send a picture of your skin. This isn't sponsored, but maybe one day it will be. You send a picture of your skin and fill out this questionnaire and they prescribe you like a skincare item that's like a treatment almost. You just use it once, mine's is once a night, and I think it's amazing. And another thing that I've been doing is LED light. I've got an LED light mask, it's brilliant. And I think that my skin, once I start using my U-Tan again, because it does, it keeps your skin so good. I think I'll be dead chuffed with my skin. Oh yeah. So I'm just buffing that in with my 117 brush. This combo, everyone is trying in the pop-up. And you're all loving it. Until until I make a foundation, this is this is my answer to you. I just want to make sure that this is okay. Yeah, look, it's fine. And I'm working quite quickly because Romy's having her first nap of the day. Usually we get an hour and a half which is amazing, but sometimes we don't. Sometimes she wakes up randomly after half an hour. So this makeup is, is super quick. I've kind of mostly been doing this makeup apart from maybe the eyes and lips I've been swapping out. So it's just a bit of a, a go-to at the moment. Right, I'm gonna add some concealer just by itself under my eyes because we've been up since 20 to six. Which actually, I don't think that bad. We've had worse. And I'm just gonna use the Conceal and Prime brush to pat that out. You might notice that all my brushes are dirty. Yeah, they are. I feel like I've got so much to talk to you about. It's been a little while again since I filmed, I think just the juggle of Cyber Week. We had Cyber Week, we're in 12 days of Christmas, opening the pop-up, being a mum. <laughs> the juggle is real, but the amount of people that I'm meeting lately that are 
talking about watching my videos and every time I hear that I'm just like oh god I really want to I really want to make sure that I'm prioritizing filming and I think in my mind I would like want to wait until I'm feeling like my absolute best self to film but I've kind of realized it doesn't need to be like that especially you know we're all oh god we're all busy aren't we we're all busy especially this time of year it's brutal <laughs> so I guess I just thought today I was like no matter how I'm feeling I actually I'm feeling pretty good today I slept for like eight hours last night it was great but I think I just want to be able to pick up the camera regardless of what's going on now we're here we're very very glowy I'm going to take some powder I actually have the Huda Beauty powder here this isn't the easy bake this is the oh no it is we're going to take the easy bake in banana and I'm just going to pat that in the center. I would use my modern powder perfector, but I don't have one up here. It is in my bag downstairs and I am committed to this room and getting this filming done. This powder is lovely. I don't mind the fragrance. I see quite a lot of people talking about fragrance and it being too strong, but it doesn't bother me. I'm gonna take my Modern Radiance Cream Bronzer, which is still gone strong. I use this every single day and I'm just gonna take my foundation brush straight in and start patting that on. This has been another hit in the pop up. Oh guys, I love having a shop. I love having my own shop that I can go in. I love getting ready to go to work. It honestly, it really reminds me of being just a makeup counter girly again, which I've always loved. I've got so many artists working with us and it's so fun seeing their makeup looks using my products. I get so inspired by them. And a lot of the guys are using this base combination. It looks so good on everyone. Nice, bronzy. Okay, I posted a TikTok yesterday and we we're talking about blush. For bronzer, I think that there's just something about this time of year. Obviously, I've done a wee bit of bronzer, but there's something about these tones for bronzer when it's more winter. And I'm just going to go straight in with my brush with those two blushes mixed. This is the Twilight palette for Christmas. And I'm just using the blush and bronze brush. But see, just taking that right over your bronzer. I love it. I think it stops anything looking too warm for this time of year. You can even see the difference in your skin with the, the type of light we get in Scotland at winter. It's like a cooler light. So using these kind of tones to shape the face is really flattering. We're doing quite well, this is quite fast. I'm literally just gonna keep going. I'm gonna take eye wand and sand in a little bit and see if you're struggling with creasing in your eyeshadow. I did this already, but take a dry clean cotton pad or take a cotton pad with a little bit of micellar water and use that to kind of clean off the eye area. Use that to clean off the eye area before you go in with the eye wand and see because you won't have any excess oils on your lid, your, your makeup will not move. I'm quite an oily gal especially around my eye area and see if I use skincare and there's any of that is on my lids before I use eye wands. I can get creasing. But by cleaning it off, I mean it sounds really simple and I'm sure a lot of you do this anyway, but the longevity you get is amazing. And you can just use your fingers with these for ease. She is the moment again. This is the 90s palette. It is our cool toned palette. I am biased, but it's the best thing ever. It is currently sold out on Space NK and Cult Beauty because it is that good. But this is what I've been using every day. There's just something about these tones that looks so expensive and like sexy. I love it. I love a cool toned eye. Hence the flipping silver hoops. When have you ever seen me wear silver hoops in your life? So I'm just taking the shade Phase. It's not a phase, mom. I was blending that with my large eyeshadow brush for a big, big blend. I'm mixing in a little bit of low rise. Low rise is a bit cooler toned and a wee touch deeper. I'm just blending that right up. And I'm gonna take a little bit of low rise under my eye with a little smudger brush. See, even just that with mascara is perfect. And there's something about cool tones, I think, because they're not super popular. Like, they're not that common. I think we all still kind of rock a slightly warmer eye most of the time, or most of us do. I think that when you use tones like this, it's quite striking. There's something different about it. And I think absolutely every single person suits this. To boost the kind of coolness of the look, I'm gonna use Skimp, and I'm gonna push that all over the eye. The lighter shades in the palette still have ton, tons of pigment, tons of pigment, but they're so easy to use as well. I feel like I talk about her all the time, but it gives me very much Megan Fox vibes. And see if you want to be a wee bit extra, you can use that light shade at the brow as a matte brow bone highlight, but it's still cool toned. I, oh my God, I love it. I think we can go a wee bit darker, so I'm gonna use whatever, whatever. I feel like I've not talked about Romy much on here, but she's gonna be seven months in like five days time. She is sitting 
by herself for about 20, 30 seconds at a time. Eating, oh my God, she loves her food. She loves her food. And if anyone's got a baby at the same stage as me or a wee bit younger, one of the things that she's obsessed with are the little feeders. So it's like a little like lollipop looking thing and you can put food in it and it comes out wee holes. See if you put a banana in that, she loves it loves it. I'm going to use Power Ink Liner in black, Midnight Black, to get some wings. Not too big. I'm just going to take my angle brush and see before the liner properly set. You can just take a wee bit of concealer or spit if you're me. I'm just going back in with Phase. Phase is the warmest shade in the palette so it's really good for a transition shade. And I'm just bringing that right up. I'm going to use Modern Mascara to do my lashes. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you anyway and just don't you tell anyone. But there is a certain retailer that since mascara has launched, we are the number one mascara. It is so good. It is the perfect everyday mascara. Again, I'm meeting loads of people in the pop-up that are telling me that mascara, all mascara transferred on them until they had hours, that their lashes would come out because they would have to scrub out their eyes. But because this just comes off with warm water at the end of the day, but it stays on and it's not achieving mascara. I think people just love that combo. And now I can't tell if I should make a brown because I can't tell if, an, if enough of you want it or if the ones that, of you that do want it just tell me all the time. So I can't tell if it's something that you all really, really want or if there's just like five of you that tell me every day. And I'm just gonna take my time to build up either side and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lashes, but not much. How long have I been doing? 20 minutes, not bad. Right, I'm still deciding if I'm going to do lashes or not. I might, but what I'm going to do now is put on my favourite product of the moment. This is Nova Glow Liquid Light. It's our liquid highlighter. It is the best. So look, you ready? It's like, oh my God, that's why I called it liquid light. It's like liquid light. I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm just going to pat. I like using a foundation brush for this because it's creamy. So it just helps the product travel. But this... It's the most unbelievable liquid highlight I've ever used in my life. It's the most incredible highlighter I've ever used, I think. I love Skin Dew, and if you love Skin Dew, you will still love Skin Dew, but this is different. This is more targeted. You don't need as much product, I don't think. And because it sets, it's almost more of a makeup product, whereas Skin Dew, I almost see the skincare, and I mix it with my body oil or my foundation. It really is the most amazing thing. I keep on getting asked what I'm wearing in the pop-up. People, like, in real life, it looks unbelievable as well. It really lasts. It's not going to make your skin feel greasy or anything and right, I feel like I've got a pale neck. I'm gonna bring that down my ears. I can see a wee bit of discoloration just from where I've had blemishes. So I'm gonna take some more concealer and just get that. I also I love using the concealer just by itself in the center of my face because it's not quite as glowy as the rest of the base we've got. A wee bit more concealer down my way. Right, I feel like we can do a bit more blush now. And I'm actually, I'm going to go in with the scary one. It's not scary. See when it's on. And I'm just going right over where we've just liquid highlighted. Which in theory, it doesn't feel like it should work, but it does. And then for my lips, we're going to do a proper 90s lip just to match the eyes. So we're going to do bark, of course. And I'm going to overdraw the centre. And get the sides up to meet it. And lately I've been doing a lot more lip liner on my actual lips. And it's just so the product does not move. And then 90s, this is the limited edition pack that's sold out, but it's the same lipstick. I love it. And then I'm gonna go in with more, like in this inner corner bit. It feels very Drew Barrymore, circa 1990. I'm gonna take Power Ink Liner in brown just to fill in my freckle in like quite an obvious way. So that's like my big freckle. If that makes sense, this is my beauty, this is my beauty mark. I've been trying to find my eyelashes because I was gonna re-wear a pair, but I cannot find them. Uh, ooh. Oh my God, I've not used these in ages. HL5 Smoky Lashes. I think there's something about winter and wearing like a bit more makeup that makes me wear more makeup. And I'm just gonna add a wee tiny bit more coverage just there and there. I quite like that match for concealer for me. And then I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go down and get my powder and press that into my skin. Oh God, I can hear a baby. Right, I'm gonna let that dry. I need to go and get the baby. Look at this. <laughs> Hi! Whoa! <gasps> how was your sleep? Let's go downstairs. Okay, so I'm giving them a wee squeeze. Look how nice and fluffy. I'm just gonna take my gimme brow and put it through my eyebrows. I think that's it, guys. Honestly, this is just what I've been really loving. It's really nothing too tricky at all. I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks in real life. 
I love the way it lasts through the day. Like I said, I just need something that I can really count on that I know is not going to separate or photograph badly or look bad in real life. It just kind of settles into the skin and looks better and better throughout the day. It's so exciting to be able to do like a full face of Eve almost. If you are in Glasgow or you're visiting, please do come and see us in the pop-up. I get a lot of questions asking if you need tickets to come and see us. No, we're just, a, we're just a shop. You can come and visit. If we get super busy, there might be a little bit of a queue. We've had a queue. We've had a queue some days. I am there. I, th I think I'm there quite a lot. I'm doing my best to like, let you guys know when I am there. Of course, there'll be some days that I'm not there because uh, I'll be home with Romy or having a rest. We need to look after ourselves. It's the, it's the most important thing, but I am there tons. It's my favorite thing to do. I love getting to meet you guys. I love being able to spend time with my team. It's such a nice atmosphere and environment, so please do come if you can. And if you can't, we're posting loads on socials and stuff, and we're also, we've got loads of fun things going on. It's been so fun to sit down and do my makeup with you. I've missed it. I hope that you take away something that you think is interesting about this look. Uh, I hope it helps in whatever way that it might help you. But other than that, I will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye bye. My desk is a riot. One day Romeo will say that to me. Whatever. How long have I been doing it? 20 minutes. Not bad. Whatever, mum, you're crazy. And I'll, I'll go with my dry scalp. Oh, and this is my uniform. The best. <laughs>